<laughs> All right, so let's get back to family content. Missing Link in theaters everywhere this weekend. I love this movie for a multitude of reasons. So Travis Knight, the guy that runs the studio, he's the heir apparent to the Nike throne. This kid doesn't have to work another no, day in his life. No, shouldn't that be enough? Oh. Shouldn't but that be enough? I would be dead from all of my bad habits if I was that right. guy. But this guy created a movie studio. They brought you Coraline, yeah. Aaron Norman, oh, yeah, okay. yeah. Kubo. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the list keeps coming and coming. Oh. I can't believe how they make these movies, though. How Oh, yeah. Stinkingly crazy. Oh, it yeah. is how they. Do you want to explain oh, how no, they make yeah, it? Yeah, I'll, let me show you guys. Mark. Okay, yeah. Hold on, Mark. How do they make okay, it? so this movie is not computer generated. It's no. stop doing animation. It's stop motion. It's so literally what do you do? this. Okay. Mark, move the popcorn a little bit. Smaller. Tiny. A little bit more. And again. And again. And again. Throughout the whole. Well, every that's all the time we have for today's show. And Thanks. Repeat <laughs> that. Wow. And every wow. character. Is that right? Scene. Every yes. little time the character moves, does right. anything facial expression. Right. Like Great story. You've got Hugh Jackman, you've got Zoe Zaldana, and I sat down wait, with wait, her. Wait, wait, wait. Do you still have your hand? Oh, do you guys want to know why? What why? is this about? I oh. can explain. Oh, please do. So I was walking past a magazine stand on my way to interview her one time, and there was her on the cover of Cosmo magazine. You did not bring that into the interview. But it was shrink wrapped, and if you bought it, you got a free thing of fingernail polish. And so I took it what? in, and she insisted on painting my fingernail. <gasps> Respect. She did. I kept okay. it like that forever. This Aww. finger, as I recall, we talked. Take a look. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Good to see you. I gotta tell you something. The very first time I ever heard the world word in regard to social media viral, it was because of something that you and I participated in. I sat down oh. with you to interview about a movie, and you were on the cover of a magazine in London. I grabbed it off the shelf, and with it, you got a free bottle of nail polish, and you painted my fingernails while we did the interview. Are you serious? Yes. That is so awesome. <laughs> and and I, I posted, and someone said, what did you do? It's going crazy. I, so, I painted your fingernail? You did, and I swear I never washed it. I mean, it's been years, so it's, <laughs> it's gone now. It's still there. But it was there. No, I remember. I remember. That was so awesome. The, the Thank you for letting me do that, actually, on camera. Well, it was awesome, and it spoke to me what kind of amazing human being you were, that you would lean into that. <laughs> Thank you. But thank you. Well, congratulations on this. Thank you. You've done a little bit of everything, but nothing quite like this. No, no. I like to check, you know, weird boxes off my bucket list, you know, and, and stop motion is a form of uh, filmmaking that I've loved so much since I was a child. Um, Leica has been a studio that I, they've always been on my radar since they came out with like Coraline and Box Trolls. Um, I just enjoy it. It's just so beautiful. Um, so getting to be a part of something like this, it, it makes me feel great. Yeah, it's uh, heartwarming and hysterical and I swore I would never say something so cliche but it's so true I brought some fingernail polish because we oh there's no time all right oh, missing man. link to then yeah <laughs> She is lovely. She's yes, she perfect. is. You know the last time I saw her she was green. Oh, she's been green. Blue. She's been blue. That's right. Oh. Exactly. And I love her in every color, every primary. Thanks for having me tease ahead. In a couple weeks, we're doing our big Endgame special. We'll be talking about Zoe Zanana oh, yeah. and that because she's in the Marvel Universe and yep. Avatar. I can do an impression of her from Avatar. Oh, oh yeah? Oh, yeah? I see you. That's all I got. You killed that. That's right. Thank you very yeah. much. That's all I got. Good, honestly. All right. End scene. Uh, <laughs> all right. The comedians at the table. Have you guys ever crossed paths with Zach Galifianakis doing a stand-up? Well, actually, no. one time. Oh. No, I'm, I'm pretty funny, but I'm not an official <laughs> comedian. Go ahead, guys. Uh, no. I haven't had the uh, opportunity. No, I, actually, I have. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, listen to the story. Okay. Um, uh, there was his poster up. And he was coming to the same comedy club that I was coming to. Yeah. So I saw his poster oh. on the wall. <laughs> You're playing. Yeah. Appearing tonight on the same stage. I watched Hours that. Hours apart. No, 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 no. Months. <laughs> Months oh. apart. All right. I Months met apart. him once at a pre Oscar party. Yeah. And he's a very short individual. I saw him. I in watched The Hangover, so. Funny that's you the should best, say that. That's the best. The Hangover oh. is the like best role. 27 degrees of separation. I'm yep. pretty Kevin sure Bacon. he was hungover when we talked. Take a look. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. I'm a huge fan of your work, a huge fan of your interview acumen, so mm. it's uh, it's a little daunting sitting mm. in front of you trying to interview such a great interviewer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I've done a lot of good interviews over the years. Are you talking about my Between Two Ferns work? Yeah. Are there others? No. Okay. No, there's nothing else. <laughs> Yeah, I was a, I was a war car correspondent for years. <laughs> well, I loved the commitment that you Thank brought you. to that. You really went above and beyond to jump out of the trenches. Thank you. Uh, between two firms, before I move on, since you brought did bring that up, uh, who's your favorite of all of them? If you could whittle it down to the top three guests you had. Oh, uh, President Obama, I liked. Yep. Uh, Charlize Theron was just a really fun one to do. And 
Bradley Cooper. Awesome. Bradley, because you've got a lot in common. Some history together. We you don't have anything in common. You've made three films together. <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah, 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 we have, yeah, we have that in common. All right. If you went back in time and talked to like the, the little 10-year-old, 8-year-old Zach Galifianakis and you were watching Stop Go Animation, whether it was Rudolph or whatever you had at the time, what would he say if you said, someday you're going to grow up and you're going to be doing this? If the 49-year year version of mine would uh, talk to the 8-year-old version, I'm sure the 8-year-old version would go, get away from me, you creep. <laughs> Stranger danger. <laughs> Mom. But. but Mom. Um, but I guess let's broaden that out. Are you blown away by all that you've had at hand on? Listen, I have a very cynical side of me, but. It is never lost on me how lucky I am to be doing uh, and, and how grateful I am to be able to, that people ask me to do these things. It's never lost on me. Uh, so it is exciting. And my dad used to tell me, he's like, look, you you get to make people laugh. Like that's a, I, I, my dad was always like, don't lose perspective of that. So I, uh, the eight year old would never have believed the creepy 49-year-old. Never. There's no way. It <laughs> wasn't supposed to happen. So what, is he hungover or does he hate me? Or is it a little bit of both? It's both. a little bit of both. Definitely both. I mean, That's why I know good. we're friends. I bank on the hatred. One is more than the other, and I'll let you take that guess. Aww. <laughs> That's how I know we're all good friends at this yeah, table, because you guys love, aren't afraid to defeat we me. We love Mark so much. <laughs> yeah, we do. We love him, guys. So I'm okay. I was just jealous of you because you're always so nice and spiffy. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, follow me on Instagram, TV Marcus Allen. I'll show a picture of my teeth ridiculously bleached white and That's getting it. some Zach Galifianakis scorn all at the same time. I love it. Maybe he was in character. Maybe. Let's go with that.